And you don't have to, but it looks better. So they get about 86 uh, members of ICLEI. And they just added 12 at the end of December. And they have full-time paid staff people that go around to this town selectmen to push this. And when they do, they, uh, oh, yeah, let me get into this here. This is one of the toolkits if you belong to ICLEI or you're promoting sustainable development to the schools. Education is a key element of this. They promote this in all the schools from kindergarten to high school or college level. And they tell us that their little toolkit that more highly educated people who have higher incomes consume more resources than poorly educated people. That must have taken them years of millions of dollars of study to find that one out, right? Who tend to have more incomes. In this case, more education increases the threat to sustainability. So stay dumb. We're going to dumb you down as much as we can. Interesting. This is the uh, head of the Department of Education. He says that uh, sustainability is a key element. This was 2010. By the way, as, as an aside, Ron Paul, he was a congressman the first time around in the set late, late 1970s. Uh, the Department of Education was passed during the Carter administration, became a cabinet level. Well, that shortly thereafter, Ron Paul tried to change the name from the Department of Education to the D Department of Public Education. What's the acronym? D-O-P-E. It didn't pass, but <laughs> that's their goal. Ron Paul knew back in the 70s what their goal was. When Dedham joined uh, ICLEI and the Green Committee, they get a nice big fat check from your money, well, in this case, taxpayers of Massachusetts. It's only about 15 to 18 million dollars from the taxpayers of Massachusetts so far in the last couple of years. But when you join it, there's not strings attached, there's chains attached. There's all kinds of things, and I'll go into a few of those a little bit later. So I've been visiting all these places. By the way, Dedham, it's a nice area, but they have some litter and some filth in certain places. This was the oldest canal in the country, Mother Brook. And uh, I took some pictures. This place was filthy. Now, you think all these greenies that love Agenda 21, this place should be spotless. It should be spotlessly clean, but it's not. And this was like this. It got worse. We went out, the John Burke Society, the evil right-wingers that want to destroy forests and trees and, and birds, we had a little free market cleanup. And we made this place spotless. My family and a few other families went out. Okay, so I know that means I gotta speed it up. Come on, Al, hurry it up. So here's Newburyport, Greenfield, Marshfield, Massachusetts. The town, the, I had a run-in with the town manager here. What an arrogant person this guy was. Uh, uh, this is, uh, they're dealing with greenhouse gases, so when they join ICLEI, they'll uh, commit to have um, idling ordinances passed, which you can't idle your car. They'll get money for windmills, they'll get money for, uh, for uh, solar panels. They'll do energy audits of all the people living in. If you have any questions, I'll go to the end, okay? Yeah. Energy audits, that means they come into your home, they know exactly what you have, they know your carbon footprint, maybe a smart meter. And I don't have time to get into smart meters, but I, can, I have a one minute video clip, which I won't show now. Obama. Is standing behind some solar panels, pushing solar. I mean, pushing smart meters. That's all I need to know is that they're bad. Okay. A friend of mine, a chap leader of the, of the Maine, a Birch Society in Maine, they had they were putting the smart meter in without her her approval. She said, "Get that out, out now!" And they did. They left. And he's still. And she has to pay a little bit more, but it's worth it. Uh, Kingston, Massachusetts. They not only do they belong, they're a green community, but they want you to formally join the Nature Conservancy, a private NGO. They don't have applications for the Tea Party groups or the John Birch Society, although, see, these town halls, don't they belong to us too? Why should they just belong to the, you know, the folks that are pushing big government? This is why I say, go up there, reclaim these town halls for freedom, never mind this, this nature conservancy nonsense. Walsley, a very wealthy community, unsustainable. Everything there is unsustainable. They buy into it. They have a, they have a conservation officer, an energy officer. And Dedham, I won't have the time to go into what's going on in Dedham, but... There was a novel that came out in Christian circles called This Present Darkness, where the people, a new police chief comes into town, and the bank president, and the new editor of the newspaper, and it's just a miserable place. That's a, like that. The, 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 the owner of the local newspaper wouldn't run my, I did a little investigation of uh, how Ickley came in. I got some, some, some interesting information. How they're writing, they're getting taxpayers' money to build all this stuff, and, they're gonna, and the woman who runs this thing, she gets a rubber stamp from the, from the selectmen. She wouldn't run my letter. So I gave it to a friend of mine who lives in Dedham. He's changed a few words, and she was so hostile to him. Now, you can't, this is not right. And we said to her, why don't you investigate it yourself? You don't, because you don't have the courage to do that, do you? Yeah. 
or maybe you're, you've got some, some monetary gain from it, right? So uh, recycling, good karma. By the way, if it was market driven, that's wonderful. But in many cases, it's not. And sometimes it takes more energy to recycle, and it's, it's not worth it, right? If, if you're getting money for your, for your trash, you won't have to, no, one's, no one will tell you. You know, I was in, I was one for, I was in Ringe lab, I spent the night in Ringe, New Hampshire. Went for a jog and there was a lot of, and I'm always picking up trash. Uh, there's a lot of cans and bottles in, uh, on 119. Well, somebody from Massachusetts on his little bicycle was picking up all the bottles because he's getting a nickel apiece for them. Hey, you know, good for him. The Heartland, Indiana. Indiana, oh, they're, they're all Bible, though. They don't put up with this stuff. Well, right here in good old um, Indianapolis, they have the sustainability office. Well, and they propagandizing the children, this thing we picked up. I picked this up uh, last summer. Air Schmeyer. Columbus, I was in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, we don't have this here. Oh, yeah? We went on the website and found sustainable Columbus. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I don't know we had that. The U.S. Post Office is pushing Agenda 21. I picked this up from my local post office, which usually is littered all over. It's not because of clerks. The clerks can't do it because of their, the way the union is set up. They want me to uh, plant trees, and I love planting trees. I planted a peach tree in my yard just recently. But if I live in a stack and pack in community, I can't be I don't have a backyard anymore. I can't. Uh, Use or turn the thermostat down. I need to get them to tell me to turn my thermostat down. I'm paying for the oil or the gas or the windmill, right? And I got to turn my thermostat down. Well, I was in York, Maine, giving a presentation at, at a library. York is an equally town, and it was funny. It was a room that was stifling hot in the middle of the winter, right? And the thermostat was locked up, so I couldn't be green because, like, you know, they lock it up because they're afraid people turn it up. But we want to turn it down. So the nice librarian brings me a fan, an electric fan. So you talk about unsustainability. <laughs> a overheated room and a fan to take care of. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was horrified. Uh, not really. Uh, also, they want you to use public transportation to go green. Well, I'm, I use, I live in Boston, the subway sometimes. I can say, use public transportation if you dare. I would not want my wife riding public transportation at night unharmed, you see. And um, it's not, and it's getting awful expensive, too. This was I picked up in uh, Medford, Massachusetts, which is an equally town. Uh, now Horton is involved in the conspiracy. Horton hears, Horton hears a greenie. Horton hears gore. <clears throat> the Gaia movement, that's uh, the Earth goddess. Donate your clothes to save the planet. That was in uh, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. If you belong to a green community in Massachusetts, they give you solar compactors that the taxpayers pay for. I'm in favor of solar energy to a limited extent if it's not subsidized. I have something better than a solar compactor. It's called a foot. That's what I use. That's my green technology, right? And by the way, we homeschool. So we are very green. We don't have to put our children on big yellow school buses that burn a lot of carbon dioxide and big inefficient buildings. There was a, uh, in Massachusetts, they had a green forum at a high school, you know, suggestions on how to build green. Well, my suggestion I put on their website is to close the schools, do away with compulsory education. Oh, they didn't like that. <laughs> All right. Solarized Massachusetts. All right, let me just, uh, yeah, don't drink this stuff anymore. It's not green. Drink that tap water. Get your fluoride. Get your fluoride. Get your fluoride. Yeah. Sustainable medicine, sustainable agriculture. Agenda 21 in action. Uh, planning commissions that will completely rezone your areas, right, if you don't pay attention. Mileage tax are proposing statewide, citywide, countywide, smart meters, green codes. You adopt these proposals. You can't make that addition on the house. You can't make that repair. You can't uh, even build if you have a piece of land you bought and you want to retire on. You can't do that if you buy into this stuff. Idling laws, manufacturing gone, property taxes increase, rental increases. But the most important thing is that you lose <coughs> self-government. And while you're a moderate, liberal, conservative, we shouldn't want to lose the right to have our own destiny, uh, control our own destiny. And of course, the propaganda in our schools is enormous. What do you do about it? Well, it's not just about um, knowing about it, but it's taking action. Um, numerous towns have left Ickley since last fall, since last uh, June, over 50, and I can't n name them all. Every day we hear about new towns uh, either getting out or proposals to get out. Um, smart meters decision in Maine last summer. A couple said we don't want a smart meter. They hired a lawyer. They won their case. Now that people have, they can refuse and they're gone. Uh, there's only numerous Maine. resolutions. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. There's only numerous. In Maine? Huh? Is that only in Maine or is that everywhere? Well, it was in Maine, but you know, legal precedent. So I would I would say if you fight it, yeah, fight it if you can. Okay. 
Now you should. Um, there's numerous resolutions. I heard one of Louisiana's that popped up either to get Ickley out of the state or to get Agenda 21 out. Georgia, Tennessee, New Hampshire had one that uh, I think uh, there's a couple of proposals in New Hampshire. Uh, go on the website, um, uh, what's your name? Ann Cartwright, a uh, state rep from New Hampshire. And she's just one of the sponsors of the uh, bill. I think it's Senate resolution. Oh, I forget what bill number it is. But H HB 1634. HB 1634. By the way, this slideshow I have on my script page. You want my, I'll give you all. I have videos on my YouTube channel. I have lots of documents. So if you want any anything I said tonight, back it up everything I can say. I'll give you my email address and, send, and I'll send you links to all this information. Okay. Um, what can you do, Carver? I get just about a few minutes. I have this article put in a PDF format. Put it up on my script page, which means I can post it on Facebook where I have links to it. Carver, Massachusetts had belonged to Igley. I happen to have a little family lineage. Uh, uh, my ancestors pioneered the town, and there's a Shirtlet Park, so I thought maybe my name and a cup of coffee, you know, get me a, you know, get, they'll pay a little attention. So I went to Facebook and I put up, uh, I found a local newspaper, which I knew about, and I said, you should investigate. And they ran by, they gave me an interview. Um, I put it up on the Republican uh, Carver GOP. And I say the GOP gave us a dinner 21, but they tend to be a little more receptive to uh, support, opposing. In fact, the Dem Republican National Committee back in January passed a resolution against a dinner 21. That was very surprising. Um, so a lady, the woman who is the head of the group, got back to me. She said, I read the article. I never heard of this, but it explains everything. Well, she's become a, a giant in this issue. And as a result of that, I got in front of maybe 10 or 12 Tea Party groups around the state just because of that one little article. We had a meeting in Carver last August. Over 100, close to 100 people were there. Within three days, Ickley is gone, out of Carver. That's why I don't hear people clapping. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm almost done too, so you can clap about that too, right? Have you visited your town hall or your city hall, right? With this information, well, I did. Uh, I went to Manchester just recently. I've been to numerous towns, and our members all over the country have been doing the same thing. Why don't you do it if you haven't done it already? Right, get this information in your friends' hands, your neighbors' hands. Um, and by the way, there's a group called Democrats Against the Agenda, UN Agenda 21. Not just the left, right. It's not just the right. It's people on the left too that are fighting this. And I don't. Have, I'd be happy to work with anybody, uh, you know, on this subject. Uh, how about hosting a meeting like this in your area or a videotape showing in your home? Do you know the local reporter, your hometown newspaper? If not, why not? Let them know about these kinds of things. They're always looking for the smaller the paper, the better. The big city newspapers generally don't give you much ink. Although, what we did in uh, Nashville back in what early March, we had a little standout in front of City Hall on a Saturday, next to the 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 the, uh, the peace people. You know, they came a little bit later. We got an article in the Union Leader. We got one from the National Telegraph and the National Patch. All of them favorable. And we, as a result of the newspapers calling up the mayor, all of a sudden they know what it is. All of a sudden they're giving it information that we couldn't get. The reporter from the union leader said to me, well, they, one of the aldermen has never heard of Agenda 21. I said, they have now, right? And they're going to hear a lot more about it, okay? Um, uh, social networking, there's a numerous Facebook pages on Agenda Just put Agenda 21, there's probably 50 of them. You may want to start your own citizen, Manchester citizens, New Hampshire citizens against Agenda 21. I happen to be, uh, the John Burke study has one called Shoes, Freedom, Stop the Dinner 21. There's a one that I know, one that I post on a lot, I get a lot of updated stuff, is uh, uh, Stop the Dinner, Stop You and Agenda 21, Stop Italy. And they get a lot of up-to-date stuff. Um, I suggest, maybe humbly suggest, that if you're not involved in any freedom movement, I suggest joining the John Burke Society. And if you are, you can still have room for us. We could use your help. You got a chapter right here in Manchester. And we're doing a lot of this work around the country. We need more people. When if you go on, what's that? We have a meeting, right? Nice. We meet, uh, we'll, be, well, we'll discuss it. We meet okay. regularly. Um, and we have uh, a lot of Tea Party people. Uh, we, if you belong to a Tea Party group, we say work hard with that group, but we can find room for you in our, and you'll get some real sound information at our, at our gatherings and learn a whole lot. Um, uh, so, and also, we have a website, jbs.org, and we have a, uh, you do a drop down, it will say issues, Agenda 21, and you can get downloads, you can get links, lots of, we have petitions to get us out of Italy, to get us out of Agenda 21. And wherever, I'll give you my business card, this is what I do. I'm a full-time staff member. Keep me busy. I don't want to be like the Maytag repairman. Remember those old commercials? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
So with that, I want to thank all of you. And I want to close by, I have five big reasons why I do this. They're called children. My dad was a World War II veteran. He handed me the baton, right? Some of us have dropped that baton of freedom, right? We were too busy following sports or following the movies or following unimportant things that we thought were important, right? But the baton has been picked back up a little bit in the last three or four years, thanks to the patron saint of the Tea Party movement, President Obama, right? I don't think our generation is totally ready for this constitution, our constitution, to get it back. But the next generation will be. My son and my daughter, I have five children, right? I think, I have an optimistic worldview. I think we're going to beat these people. I think we're going to convert a lot of these people to the freedom movement, by the way. A lot of these people are just misinformed and deceived. We're going to win, and if, but if we don't, we're going to be living in a third world stinkhole, like a lot, and our children will be second class citizens. Not because of their pigmentation, because of their worldview, what they think and what they believe. That's not going to happen as long as I can help it. And I hope all these people in this room have that same commitment to freedom. So with that, I want to thank you all. We have to be out of here in 10 minutes. So uh, I'll, be out, I'll be out in the steps. I do. I do.